baptism for cleanliness, there is a similar move to do the same for cosmetology businesses like nail salons and barbershops. The measure is aimed at protecting customers from contracting infections. Alex Dennis is back with five nail salon secrets to protect yourself. I need to hear these, Alex. All right, Chris and Mary. So nail salons are a $7 billion industry in the U.S. with 2,000 shops located right here in New York City. But without a grading system, it's hard to tell if that relaxing mani-pedi is putting your health at risk. Recent studies found unsanitary salons can infect clients with MRSA, hepatitis, fungus, and other infections. The plan would resemble the current letter grading system used by the Department of Health to monitor restaurants and would be clearly displayed in businesses. In the meantime, though, there are some things you can do to help protect yourself. Use common sense. Good housekeeping says, yeah, it may sound like a no-brainer, but look for a clean environment, clean workstations, and sterilization practices. The package of the sterilized to tools should be opened in front of you, and check online to make sure the salon is certified. Invest in your own tools, so stock your kit with nail files, buffers, clippers, and brushes, and bring your own polish. While it's fun to pick from dozens of pretty polish, the problem with sharing the bottle is the risk of spreading or actually contracting fungal bacteria. And don't cut your cuticles. Cuticles are meant to protect germs from entering into the body. By cutting them, you compromise that barrier. Push them back instead. And don't be afraid to speak up. If something feels uncomfortable, let the technician know. Getting cut increases your chances of an infection. And if you come in with a cut, they actually say, you know, I'd rather just stay home, let it heal, because again, increases your chances. Yeah. Yeah. This all reminds me, I really need a manicure.